Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Dylan here. Thank you so much for coming by. It's so good to see you all. I know it's been a little bit of a time, but we do have a big update from the Pentagon, which I do want to share with you all. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video, and honestly, I just needed a little break from making videos, uh, especially on politics. It's just, it's kind of nice to take a little break, but I'm sorry, and I have been reading your comments about where are you, Dylan, where are you, we miss you, and hope you're doing well. So thank you for all the kind wishes. I hope you are all doing well. Also, I know it's been crazy here. We literally had hail here. It was hailing the other day um, here in my backyard. I can actually show you really quickly. Thing, but there you go, there you go, you can see it, okay. This was my old front yard, just hail everywhere. Okay, I wanted to read a uh, Bible verse from the book of Proverbs because this is one of my favorite ones and we have read it here on the channel. And yeah, Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. So, I know with all the chaos going on in the world right now, I think it's more important, ever, more important now than ever to trust in God, trust in God's plan. Uh, trust in Him with your heart because we as humans, we can't understand everything. I love this verse because it says, lean not on your own understanding. There's a beautiful song uh, by Will Regan. And it, it's like... I lean not on my own understanding. My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven. And I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. Anyways. <laughs> No, I'm not the best singer in the world. Actually, I really am trying to get a, a voice coach, so I'm gonna try to do that this year. Okay, let's jump into this update. The Pentagon um, just basically, the, de uh, the Defense Department on Friday said it had no new indications that China is preparing to give weapons to Russia in defiance of staunch US warnings. So Pentagon to China, this comes on US News and World Report. So as you can see here, uh, Pentagon, this comes from US News and World Report, Pentagon is to China, arming Russia in Ukraine would cause needless suffering, they said. The Defense, the Defense Department on Friday said it had no new indications that China is preparing to give weapons to Russia in defiance of staunch US warnings after a report emerged that officials in Beijing appeared on the cusp of dispatching attack drones and ammunition. So this is Pentagon spokesman, Air Force Brigade General Pat Ryder. Actually, I've never, I'm not familiar with him, Pat Ryder. I don't know if he's new or not. Actually, he doesn't seem new based, of, based on the literal, looks like he has 400 little badges. Um, but yeah, this was on Washington on February 10th. This is just a photo of him, I guess. But Pat Ryder said, we haven't seen them provide lethal aid to Russia yet but we've also noticed they haven't taken it off the table. Ryder referenced the 12 point political settlement that the Chinese Communist Party released early Friday that appears to be more for public consumption than, than a foundation for peace. Among other proposed concessions for Ukraine, the document includes call, calling um, calls for a ceasefire. Ironically, China's recent peace plan proposal includes respecting the sovereignty of other countries, so one would hope they mean it. Officials at the White House and Departments of State and Defense have escalated their warnings to China in recent days against bolstering its partners in the Kremlin as Russia continues to try to gain new traction in the brutal, grinding invasion of Ukraine. Moments before writers spoke on Friday, CNN reported that U.S. intelligence officials assessed that China was nearing an agreement to provide kamikaze drones and bullets for small arms weapons such as pistols and rifles rather than larger artillery. So basically, CNN reported that US intelligence officials assessed that China was nearing an agreement to provide drones 
That's crazy. The assessment adds that China does not appear to have made a final decision yet. Guys, I'm I'm sorry, but I again I've been taking a big break, so I didn't even know China was getting involved. Let's see what see what Zelensky has to say. He said, "I really want to believe that China won't supply weapons to Russia." Well, that's a great great plan there you got Zelensky. I don't want to believe it. Well, you don't have to believe it, but <laughs> they could still do it. It's not like. Oh, that's not a really good strategy is say, oh, I don't want to believe it. Or I really want to believe that China won't supply, well, it's like, well, they could. Well, everywhere, whether it's China, it's very hard to find a short uh, answer. Um, oh, here we go. I don't think... Okay, this is... Anyways, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna play that video. Um... So, so Ryder said, this is Pentagon, this is a Pentagon video, this is not a Zelensky video. Broadly speaking, what you w would be seeing is a country like China, China, which clearly has advanced capabilities, munitions, etc. Which, oh, by the way, has publicly declared neutrality to now take a side and essentially say we want to be in the camp that's looking to extinguish Ukraine as a nation. Yeah, so that's a big, big point that um, Ryder's saying, Ryder, the Pentagon spokesman is that China, for the most part, has been neutral in this Russia versus new, uh, Ukraine. And now, if they're potentially taking sides with Russia, that has massive implications, right? It would, and again, U.S., we're, you know, obviously providing so much aid to Ukraine. I don't know, for me, again, I'm just a random dude wearing a tank top. Sitting in my living room. Guys, how do you get... It's been three weeks. Do you think I look more buff or what? I've been hitting the gym, not gonna lie. I've been, I've been getting the gains going. I'm trying to uh, get back in shape. I'm all about health, health and wellness right now. And again, if we go back to the beginning, a year ago today, Russia invaded unprovoked the, the nation of Ukraine with the idea that they would wipe it off the map. The U.S. and the international community have come to help Ukraine defend itself Ukraine certainly has a right to defend itself, and we have a right to help them defend themselves. He spoke a day after the U.S. announced, in, in concert with the Ukraine war, entering its second year, a package of new arms and support for Ukraine valued at more than $2 billion. What? Holy shnikes. $2 billion? That's a lot of freaking money. That's a lot of freaking dough. $2 billion. Gosh, $2 billion bucks? I just bought this coffee. This coffee, literally, you guys, I don't know why it cost it over $5. I'm sorry, but this is, I got scammed by Starbucks. Bro, why did I pay five dollars for this? Literally just milk and sugar and espresso. Like I literally could have made that here myself. But I want to go to Starbucks. Want to support this gl global corporation that provides funding to. Anyways, I'm rambling. Also, during that time, Russian military has suffered from battlefield defeats. Blah 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 blah. Another interesting update from the Pentagon, Pentagon is the Pentagon panel recommends bases stop selling guns to troops under 25. I don't know if you guys seen about this, but an external evaluation of blank, can't say that word on here, in the US military has provided a report calling for greater gun control restrictions for troops. Very interesting. Uh, the committee des des designated the suggested ban on gun pur purchases for soldiers under 25 as high priority and a factor that quote unquote must change. You know what? You know what I think about this is that like you can do you can you can put a ban on that. But like at the same time, if you're recruiting dudes who are 18 years old to go join the military, it's like, you know, you can't you can't go to a bar and get a beer until you're 21. But yeah, you can go sign up to be in the military like I don't know I feel like the drinking age is a little uh a little old here I know in other most countries it's 18 even some countries it's 16 a lot of countries it's 16 years old um so yeah this is big news now this is a very interesting topic uh the pentagon has come out and said this this is massive guys with the whole roe v wade and stuff Troops now don't have to disclose they're getting an abortion to use new leave, Pentagon says. Service members who want to use administration leave or receive a travel allowance 
quote unquote, get money from the military, aka taxpayer dollars, to travel to get an abortion or fertility treatment will not have to disclose the specific reason they're using the benefits. The Pentagon confirmed to military.com on Friday. So the Pentagon and military.com communicate. So if you guys want good news sources, go to military.com. By the way, I wanted to thank our video sponsor, Birch Gold. Birch Gold is a great way for you to get invested into gold and precious metals. So if you've been thinking about putting your money into a gold IRA, uh, you can use our unique link below. Go to birchgold.com slash finance zone and they will send you a free 20 page info kit. So go to birchgold.com slash finance zone and they help you basically safeguard your IRA or 401k with this little known IRS loophole. They will send you 20 pages just on everything you need to know. Even if you're not really interested, you can at least learn about it. Um, you know, knowledge is, this is free knowledge. Uh, ben Shapiro has partnered with them. Larry Elder, um, Ron Paul, a lot of uh, people, Candace Owens as well. So go to birchgold.com slash finance zone and maybe investing in precious metals and gold is your answer. So um, if you have an IRA or 401k and you want to convert it into a gold IRA, check it out. Check out um, birchgold.com slash finance zone and get your free info kit down below. And if you just get your free info kit, it helps us out a ton. So it's totally free and you could do it and it helps us run the show. Okay, so very interesting update with everything going on at the Pentagon. I would love to hear your thoughts on the whole situation. Again, big, big thank you for all of your prayers. I've been praying for you all. I hope you guys have been doing well, staying dry, staying safe, um, no matter where you are in the country. I know it's really, really cold. There's like straight up snowstorms. I mean, it's been hailing here in Los Angeles. I'm in California, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I hope you guys have been doing great and um, hope you have a great Sunday. I know Sunday's coming up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.